Welcome to episode 21 of the Heart of Markness podcast, brought to you this week courtesy of my good friend, Jeremy Smith, who, knowing of my audio woes regarding my mic and my mic cable and such, surprised the hell out of me the other day, yesterday, in fact, with uh, a gift of not just a new mic cable, but a new microphone, and one of those... um, articulated gimbal arms and a pop filter so it looks like uh, it looks like Joe Rogan set up and it's a much better mic than what I was using although the mic I was using was okay um, it's incredible and I think you can hear the difference immediately I hope you can hear the difference immediately it's it's I can um, god damn it Jeremy thank you so much you surprised me the hell out of me um, that's why there wasn't a podcast last night aside from the fact that I got home from uh somewhere um, later than I expected and was tired and I came home to this and was just oh my god look at all this stuff and I couldn't get it together and in a situation I wanted um, I liked before it was time for me to go nighty night so hence the late podcast but I think you're gonna dig it it is um, man Jeremy thank you so much and thank all of you for listening because it means the world to me and I think, I think this mic's a little hot. Let me turn it down just a smidge. There. That may be uh, not so bad. It's going to take a little getting used to, but um, hopefully already you can tell that it's much, much better than my shitty laptop microphone of the last couple episodes. And it doesn't have the crackly, crackly, crackly screaming of um, my previous mic and mic cable. So ever onward, as Mr. Page says. So this week is kind of an odds and sods episode. Um, I don't want to play any more page plant because I covered the, uh, the eras of page plant and anything else would start to get redundant. And, you know, plus, uh, no matter what page and plant is, uh, it's just not Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin is better in my opinion. So I wanted to get back to some Led Zeppelin. But I wasn't sure about where I wanted to go from here. But what I was sure of was that I had a whole bunch of stuff from the shows that I've already covered that I hadn't played for you yet. And, most importantly, Blueberry Hill. Remember that? That was a few episodes ago. We did Blueberry Hill. Remember? 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 Um, well, of course, right after we did Blueberry Hill on uh, DimeADozen.com or .org, whatever it is, uh, the BitTorrent Tracker. There was um, another version of the show uploaded that was a matrix of two really great stereo low-gen sources. And it sounds even better than what I had played for you before. So I downloaded it and said, of course, it sounds better. But um, I'm not going to play the same songs because been there, done that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to play you maybe one or two songs, at least one song from this new recording or new um, manifestation of the existing recordings. Um, As I said last time we talked about this, a matrix recording is taking two separate recordings, either stereo or mono, and essentially layering them on top of each other and matching up the times perfectly so that you have a fuller, richer sound source that just it kind of melds the two together and makes a new one. And um, when it's done right, it sounds amazing. There can be a little bit of artifacting and a little bit of wishy-wishy sound in the higher uh, frequencies at at lower volumes just by nature of the fact that you're putting two separate recordings on top of each other and they're never going to be identical. But it is great. And what we're going to listen to now from September 4th, 1970, LA Forum, I think, or Inglewood, I can't remember, um, is Communication Breakdown. And when you hear this, you're going to hear it's fuller and punchier, like this microphone is, like my vocals are, la 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 la. And you're also going to hear some cool stuff in the medley. You're going to hear them, uh, the band doing Buffalo Springfield's For What It's Worth. Stop, hey, what's that sound? And you're going to hear them doing Good Times, Bad Times, like they did in the Osaka show. And you're going to hear a couple of other things that you're going to like, hopefully. 
And it's communication breakdown. It's a bit of a jam. It's about 10, 11 minutes long, but I don't think you're going to mind. And if you do, well, then perhaps this is not the podcast for you. So thank you very much, my beautiful, wonderful listeners. And um, there's a lot of you out there now. It's getting kind of scary and thrilling and nice. I feel like I should be wearing a tie. But then I'd just be sitting here in my underwear in a tie. And uh, shit's weird enough already. So, communication breakdown, September 4th, 1970, Led Zeppelin, Heart of Markness.
That was better, wasn't it? See, I'd never lie to you. That's the pause of me coming up with a smart-ass follow-up to that and not being able to because I'm still tired. Sorry, but Communication Breakdown, Blueberry Hill, pretty kick-ass and pretty fun. And I love the dude that comes out after and is like, Led Zeppelin. I mean, you just picture like Bell Bottoms, a t-shirt like Napoleon Dynamite, but with a mustache. Um coming out and just like Led Zeppelin they worked hard hey groovy flashing the peace sign um but uh and then right after that Zeppelin of course played at least two more songs they played out on the tiles then they did Blueberry Hill and then they finally left but we're leaving 1970 Los Angeles and moving back to 1969 San Francisco Back to April of 69, April 27th, to the Fillmore West, where Zeppelin played a very young Zeppelin, not fully seasoned, uh, played a quasi-psychedelic gig. And you listened to it, I think it was episode 16, and I played you a couple of cool tracks from that with excellent sound quality. It's a soundboard recording. And today I'm going to play one more song. It is a blues called Sitting and Thinking." And what it is, is you're going to hear segments of what became, what was incorporated into I Can't Quit You Baby on the DVD at the Royal Albert Hall performance and the performance that's on CODA. You're going to hear licks and bits of the song in this song from that, that um, iteration of I Can't Quit You Baby. 
So it's going to sound a little off. And this is a, a basic blues song that, you know, Zep were fucking around with. They were still in April. Um, all they had out was Zep 1. And, um, you know, they had a lot of non-standard songs in their set, like you heard in episode 16. And if you haven't listened to episode 16 yet, listen to it as soon as this one's over, because it's a good one. There's some good stuff on it. Assuming that episode 16 is the one I'm thinking of. Otherwise, whatever episode you listen to will be a good one, unless it's one of the early ones, in which case, I mean, A for effort and content. Uh, musical content, that is. So, here we go. We're going to listen to Sitting and Thinking. This is, um, again, the end of the Telecaster era Zeppelin, just before the Les Paul took over. And you are going to hear some just kick-ass Zeppelin blues. Sitting and Thinking, Zeppelin. April 27th, 1969. Dig it, y'all. Wanna love me, baby But now you change your mind You said you gonna be true, baby Until the end of time Then you started messing around with me, baby Trying to lure your poor love and dead in the cold Since you've been born, I don't know me, baby I don't think I'm gonna move into your neighborhood Yeah, I don't need no closest love I'm gonna fetch them every day I've been sitting here thinking About that baby, baby on my mind well, I've been loving you, baby But I find you always Treat me unkind
And a diamond ring is yes, No matter how you treat me, baby I can hear my lonely heart say yeah. I feel sitting here thinking, baby Pretty awesome, huh? Now, that was just a basic blues. Obviously, it wasn't um, as tight as it could be. And by that, I mean the ending and the beginning was not rock solid as Zeppelin soon came to be. But remember, this is just their, you know, fourth month on the road in America. And they did do um, a little tour in um, Europe as the New Yard Birds, just I think in... um, God, I can't remember. September? Was it September of 68? Um, In any case, they're still gelling as a group. And when they're playing in the midst of the blues, they're tight, tight, tight. But in some of those um, looser areas, you can tell that they're not quite as solid as they're going to be. Although they're still a fucking force to be reckoned with, and they're still fucking awesome. It's neat to hear them um, in their formative times. It's, It's... it's cool to hear the evolution of the band. We're just a year later. They are the tightest machine in the world, and they're just a juggernaut, just rolling over everything. It's amazing. And um, thank you for coming along on this ride with me. And I lied to you about episode 12 being the San Francisco show. I lied right to your face. Episode 12 was, of course. No, oh, fuck me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, imagine working with me. Um, Episode 16 was the Blueberry Hill episode, which had the show from the first song we played. Episode 12 is, in fact, the April 27th, 1969 show from which Sittin' and Thinkin', which you just heard, is from. So if you want to hear more from the shows that these songs are featured from, Listen to episode 12 if you want to hear the psychedelic, cool, hippy-dippy music of the 60s Led Zeppelin. And then listen to episode 16 if you want to hear the brand new, fired out of the cannon, maximum velocity, young and conquering Zeppelin of Blueberry Hill, September 1970. That's episode 16. We're going to wrap this up because it's late. I'm still tired. It's Friday night. None of you are sitting waiting. Well, there's one of you waiting for the podcast. And uh, hey, Craig, it's here it is. You made it, buddy. Thank you. Um, sorry I'm a day late. I'm going to try and not let that happen again, but it was extenuating circumstances. I did get all this new hardware, and um, it was like 9 o'clock, and I didn't want to half-ass the 
episode and half-ass the hardware configuration. So I'm late for a day. I'm sorry, but I'll be back next week with a whole new show and a whole new premise and way better sound than you've heard in every episode except this one. Thanks a lot, everybody. Follow me on Twitter, Heart of Markness. Follow me on the Facebook group. Join my Facebook group, Heart of Markness. There's more stuff in that group than there is here on the podcast. I do have a website, heartofmarkness.com. That shit I haven't even updated in weeks. I really need to get caught up on there, but there is a site. It is has some stuff on there. I do need to throw the shows up there. I've said I was going to, and I haven't. I'm sorry. Um, I'm bad at, at life. But um, I know Led Zeppelin, and I like doing this podcast, and more and more of you every week like hearing it. So I'm going to keep doing it. And you know what I realized? I don't think I'm in the Google Play Store because I'm a fucking idiot. So if I'm not in the Google Play Store, then I will be soon. But you can find me everywhere that you can find podcasts. I mean, you found me, right? So Twitter, Heart of Markness. Facebook, Heart of Markness. Heartofmarkness.com. That's me, Mark from the heart of Markness. Thank you very much for listening. If you have a second and you feel like it, leave me a review. I thought you had to drill down into iTunes like a sucker and take a million years out of your day to do it, but you don't. You can do it from, at least on the on the uh, iPhone, you can do it from the podcast app. Just open up my thing, scroll up the page, and it'll say, leave a review. Leave a review if you want to. Even stars, just five stars, whatever. One star if you're a dick and you hate me. Um... The, the the reviews actually raise the relevance in the eyes of the search function. So the more reviews I have, the more weight the search function gives me as a valid um, result for whatever the search query is. So if somebody goes into iTunes podcasts and uh, puts in Led Zeppelin, a whole bunch of stuff is going to pop up. This podcast isn't, even though this podcast is almost exclusively Zeppelin and exclusively is Jimmy Page. But if you put Jimmy Page in there, this part, this doesn't pop up. You have to do some more drilling down. So the answer to that is getting more reviews, getting more stars, so that when the algorithm, when the search engine goes, oh, they're looking for Led Zeppelin, my hand is waving a little higher so it can see me and go, oh, that guy, listen to Heart of Markness. Don't listen to, you know, All Things Considered from 2006, where they're talking to Robert Reich about the economy, and he says Led Zeppelin once. Um, so help me out with that. Help me help you find more great music. All right, we passed a half an hour, and I'm done playing songs. Thank you very much. I love that you guys listen to my my stuff. I'm glad you listen to my podcast. You make my life better. I hope I make your life better. That's the that's the whole point of this, is that hopefully people out there every week, there's, there's a, a couple of you or even just one of you who listens to this and goes, God damn it, that was great. And it makes you happy and it improves your life. Okie dokie. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.